bid farewell to a man who's been a mark, pillar of strength, a visionary for this institution for the last decade. Max, I'd like to pay tribute to you and thank you for your unwavering commitment to academic excellence. Thank you for your perseverance and resilience through good and bad times. Thank you for providing clear and decisive leadership and helping achieve remarkable milestones. I have the deepest respect and admiration for you as a leader, an advisor and a friend. I'm certain that I speak for many when I say that your calm and reassuring presence will be sorely missed. If you want to understand the UCT politics, you cannot leave out the next past years because they always were quite interesting, they were filled with a lot of challenges and a lot of hope. You showed immense resilience and you continuously exhibited for me a composure that is befitted to the office of the Vice Chancellor. It's been a real privilege to be given this opportunity to lead this great university. And we should remind ourselves that a decade is, is 10 years and we tend to be, I think, heavily influenced by the recent times, by the last three years. But the seven good years, I think for, for many of us, and certainly for me, uh, was a complete high. It was a wonderful experience, a wonderful uh, camaraderie, uh, people just felt and, and, and could see we were making exceptional progress. For their dedication to UCT, for inspired leadership, for unflagging and principled commitment, I give you Deborah and Max.